Hello my dear students, welcome once again in my uh, video series. So we are discussing this video series for class 12th students and basically for term 2 exam. Okay, and this topic is very common for CBSE as well as ISC students for the term 2. Okay, so in today's lecture I am going to discuss about ascariasis and filariasis. What exactly the ascariasis disease is? So, this is a disease which is caused by common round worm which is known as Ascaris. It's known as common round worm. Okay. And uh, these are the uh, some of the helminthes which are known to be pathogenic. And this Ascaris, it is an intestinal parasite. This is an intestinal parasite. Intestinal parasite which is causing the disease called as ascariasis and uh, the symptoms of this disease may include um, internal bleeding there will be internal bleeding and uh, muscular pain fever muscular pain muscular pain fever anemia and blockage of intestinal passage and blockage of intestinal passage intestinal passage okay and the eggs of the parasite are excreted along with the feces of infected person which contaminate soil water plant and a healthy person acquires this infection through contaminated water vegetables and fruits so, what are the mode of contamination? That is the contaminated water. Contaminated water. Okay. Vegetables and fruits. And uh, second point if I want to discuss here, that is the filariasis disease. So, what happens in the filaria? So, this is caused by a uh, particular causing agent. The name is Vauchiraria. 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 Bancrofti. This is the causing agent name. Or Vauchiraria malai. These are both the names. And the filarial worms, they cause a um, slowly developing chronic inflammation of the organs in which they live for many years. And usually the lymphatic vessels. Usually the lymphatic vessels the lymphatic vessels of the lower limb and the disease is called as elephantiasis or filariasis. This disease is also known as elephantiasis. Elephantiasis. Okay. And the genital organs are also affected resulting in gross deformities. Genital organs are also defected. Okay. And the pathogens are transmitted to a healthy person through the bite by the female mosquito vector. And this pathogen are transmitted, pathogen are transmitted to a healthy person, to a healthy person, healthy person through the bite, through the bite by the female mosquito vector. Okay. So, this is all about the disease which is known as elephantiasis and here there will be inflammation. Uh, symptom may include inflammation in one of the lower limb. Inflammation in one of the, in one of the lower limb. Lower limb. Okay. So, this is all about the ascariasis and filariasis. And uh, my next video lecture will be on uh, disease which is caused due to some uh, infectious uh, agent like uh, there will be uh, causing agent maybe like trichophyton, genera microsporum, fungi will cause the disease, ringworm. Okay. And then after the this uh, discussion, we will continue with the immunity topic. So, I hope this topic is clear to you, ascariasis and filariasis. Very soon, we will meet again. Thank you, my dear students.